welcome again to the fourth Herald News Show. Yeah, may the fourth show be with you. Did you manage to enter the 2D world so far? No, I'm still struggling. Well, I got in, but I'm trapped in a bella bar. <laughs> Apparently this year, a lot of people experience issues with accessibility with the remote chaos experience. A lot of people have to deal with these issues, but on a quite different level for their whole life. So it's a good idea to take such issues more seriously. Andre has done an interview with MAPC from the IOC, the C3 Inclusion Operations Center, to give us some idea on their work. Hi, and welcome. Today we're talking to Caroline. Caroline, why don't you explain to us exactly what you do that makes it easier? Hi, so um, I, technically I'm not responsible, but I'm one of the people who, who, who tries to do stuff about integration. I'm from the IOC, the Integration Operations Center, also known as C3 Access, and we're trying to, to, to address concerns about disability and people with disability and accessibility. And of course, there's been lots of um, activity in that space before in the past couple of years. So we are, we're not really completely new, but there's a lot of people who've done sort of accessibility things in the past and we're bundling that activity. I mean, the Quiet Cube has been one example well, of something that's been, that's been very helpful from C3RT. And um, I mean, we're, we're not just there for disabled people. I mean, there's lots of accessibility that's good for everyone. Like for instance, lifts are pretty much good for anyone or using simple language communicates well to anyone. But of course, um, disability is kind of a focus of ours. Has RC3 proven a particular challenge this year? I see it more as an opportunity and less as a challenge. Um, to be honest, I mean, um, for people who are who are not very mobile, this this year is a great opportunity to partake in the same way as everyone else. And uh, actually, I've been very happy about that sometimes because it's just less stressful um, to to partake this year. Um, so that's good. I mean, of course, there have been difficulties, but we've been working with the Orga to address them, like, for instance, making sure that the websites are accessible and that there is simple language or simpler language being used that are uh, high contrast teams and that sort of thing. So we've been working on that, but uh, hopefully we did a good job. How can people reach you if, if somebody um, if somebody has the, the feeling that he would need some help, how can they reach you? or so, the, the group so, that you represent so since we are more like a coordination group um you shouldn't really contact us with immediate concerns but if you have those uh, the awareness team is there for you so check on help.ccc.de to contact them but if you have kind of more long-term concerns uh you can contact us um on c3ioc.de drop us a mail give us critique give us feedback suggestions we always love to have that and if you're neurodivergent or if you just have a uh, have kind of need a more relaxed space, maybe check out C3 Audi. They have some spaces for, for neurodivergent, autistic people, people with ADHD. And all these links, of course, will be found on our website under the link collections. So uh, if you want to know more and learn more about uh, accessibility and disability, there are two talks I want to recommend to you. There's the Felt Empathy Talk by Beta Lars, who's leading the um, C3 Audi team about autistic representation in the media. Day one, half past 6 p.m. in the evening, Cause West main stage. And there's a second talk about um, the state of accessibility in general on the Wikipaka stage on day four, uh, half past two, which is going to be extremely interesting. There's somebody with chronic fatigue syndrome, somebody with, um, and, and, and other people being represented. So check that out. That's going to be very interesting. Thank you. It was great having you. Thank you, Andre and Mepsi. Wow, the IOC team really does a wide range of work. They can be found at c3ioc.de. Now, let's have a look at the floor plan, shall we? Yes, Mepsi already mentioned the talk, Failed Empathy from Betalas, which started a few minutes ago at Chaos West TV. 
However, there are a wide range of medical conditions. Some make it difficult for people to use normal input mechanisms like keyboards, mice, or touch screens. But there are alternatives. Two of them, eyelid blinking and speech recognition, are presented and discussed in the details by David Williams King at Stream RC2. The next talk in Stream RC1 is called What the Cyber Optimists Got Wrong and What to Do About It. Cory Doctorow tries to answer some really important questions. Is technology a force for good? Was it ever? How did we end up with a world made up of five websites, each filled with screenshots from the other four? And where the fuck did all these Nazis come from? As always, there are so many different talks in the Fahrplan, so that we can only mention some. But there's another one somehow on the topic of accessibility that may be of interest for everybody who's involved in a makerspace or a fab lab. You might have run into the problem of granting access to the physical rooms and machines without physical keys. At the Chaos Zone stream, you will find an open talk about fab access, a federated infrastructure for participative communities at 1915. We can't deny it. It feels a lot like Congress in here. So let's end the show and dive into the 2D world at RC3.world. Thanks for now. And we'll be back with another show in about an hour, right after the next talk. Well, I have to manage to get into it first. So stay healthy, take care, and be excellent to each other. And cheers. Cheers.